Hey guys, first of all, let me apologize for my voice. I'm getting over a cold, but I thought it was very important to make this video this week considering what happened just a week ago on election night. Voters in California, Massachusetts, and Nevada approved recreational marijuana initiative. And on the medical side, voters in Florida, North Dakota, and Arkansas approved medical marijuana initiatives. This is the biggest victory for marijuana reform since 2012 when voters in California, Massachusetts, and Nevada and Maine approved recreational marijuana initiatives. So what does this mean for Florida? For those of you that know Daryl and I, you know that we have boots on the ground in Florida. Daryl's consulting business is actually based in Florida. So if you are considering opening a medical marijuana edibles company or business and you need some help getting started Daryl is your guy while medical marijuana was legalized in Florida medical marijuana bans are popping up places like Deerfield Beach and Boca Raton have actually temporarily banned marijuana dispensaries and treatment centers until they say that they can ex assess the effects on the community and establish zoning regulations. This is according to WeedNews.co. Because Florida's medical marijuana law does not permit home cultivation, patients will not be able to acquire medical marijuana legally via any other means than visiting a licensed dispensary. What that means is in cities and towns that have put bans in place, patients there will have no way to get safe access to their medicine. On the flip side, in just a couple of days, Canacure Florida is going to offer a medical cannabis educational conference in Ybor City. That's right there in the Tampa Bay area. So check them out at canaconference.net. They're going to have workshops and seminars that are fee-based. Proceeds are benefiting Canna Moms, which is a nonprofit helping families with sick children in need of medical cannabis. The industry expo portion of this conference will be open to the public with free admission from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. I will put the links to the articles that I referenced in the show notes. Visit us at thethcfoodie.com. Let us know if you'd like to be a guest on our show. We are currently taking application for guests from bud tenders, growers, um, and other professionals, legal accounting in the THC-specific industry.